Hello, this is Raymond the Meta Man explaining something that nobody can figure out right now. We've got gigantic forces in the world to play right now, macroeconomic forces that should be pushing Bitcoin to the moon, should be pushing all the altcoins to the moon, but it's not. And I know the answer because I studied physics and I'm going to explain everything in this presentation. And by the way, this is the first day I will have ever done two videos in the same day. And if you want to go to the other video, just go there right now. By the way, do you like my log cabin in the background? Wow, wow, wow. So what's going on? There are forces that are should be skyrocketing Bitcoin and should be skyrocketing all the altcoins. And they're not. There's something gone wrong. There's something gone wrong. And I know the answer. And I'm going to explain it to you. You will be miles ahead of your friends, your neighbors. They'll look up to you. You can mention it at parties and they'll be dazzled. So what's going on? Evergrande, the largest company in the world in the business of real estate mortgage loans, $400 billion of, of real estate mortgages, and they're going into default. Now, that is not just going to affect China because nobody's got $400 billion in their pocket. They have to borrow from banks all over the world. If they default, then banks all over the world are going to be in trouble. It'll be a global catastrophe. And yet, nobody's worried. Nobody's doing anything. What should they be doing? Well, anytime there's fear, anytime there's a global chaos, anytime there's inflation, there's what's called a flight to safety. Flight to safety. Money always goes from fiat currency, that means currency just created by a sovereign government, like the Canadian dollar, the US dollar, the pound sterling, the euro, the Swiss franc, the South African rand. There's a flight from fiat currency, which is made up by the government, and they can print as much as they want. There's a flight from that to gold. But recently, there's been a flight to gold and to digital gold, which is Bitcoin. But gold's gone down. And Bitcoin's gone way down. So what's wrong? Why isn't Evergrande exploding the price of gold and Bitcoin? But there's more. Omicron virus, the whole, the whole COVID in total, that should be scaring everybody to daylights. There's the possibility of horrible long-term side effects, but nobody seems to be worried. In times of chaos, there should be a flight to safety. In the United States, in November of 2021, they recorded the highest inflation they've ever recorded in 39 years. The highest inflation in 39 years. That classical economics teaches us that that should decrease people's confidence in the US dollar and therefore increase the flight to safety. And there's only two destinations for flight to safety, and that's gold, or now digital gold, which is Bitcoin. But nobody seems to care what's going wrong. What is wrong with the model? Also, Biden has just passed legislation that's going to cost a trillion dollars, which Americans don't have. And he's pushing more legislation that's going to cost another trillion. And when that's done, I'm sure he's got another idea to push another trillion dollar legislation bill. And he doesn't have all those trillions of dollars in his pocket. So what does he do? He just prints more money, prints more money, prints more money. Now, I'm not... Democrat, I'm not Republican, for gosh sakes, I'm Canadian. So I'm not making any political statements that Democrats are right or wrong or Republicans are right or wrong. I'm just saying that for whatever reason, he's printing trillions and trillions of dollars. And that's going to cause massive inflation. It already has caused massive inflation, the highest in 39 years. And yet, where's the flight to safety? So now you get the picture. All these things are happening. And they always, always, always cause a flight to safety. But the flight to safety hasn't happened. You can see on the graphs that I've just put as the overlay, gold has spent the last several months falling. This is a 10-year show of gold, and it's spent the last half year falling. Now look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin has spent the last month falling. Well, if the flight to gold or Bitcoin is supposed to push those up, why are they falling? What's gone wrong? And I know the answer because I studied physics. And here is the answer. There's something wrong. There's something that is preventing the flight to safety from pushing up the prices of gold or digital gold called Bitcoin. And what is it? It's called over leverage, over leverage. Let me explain that. 
the whales don't do that. Whales are too smart. Whales are the big guys, the big investors. A whale is defined as a person that has over 1,000 Bitcoins in his wallet. 1,000 coins. 1,000 times, let's say, $50,000 per Bitcoin is $50 million. That's a whale. Wow. And plus all the other coins they might happen to have. And whales don't leverage. Whales buy everything with cash. And if it goes up, it goes up. If it goes down, it goes down and they can't get hurt much. But minnows, minnows think they know everything. Minnows are the silliest investors and they always get wiped out. And what minnows do is they over leverage. In other words, they take $10,000 of cash and they buy $100,000 of some coin. And if it goes up, they make a fortune. But if it goes down just 10%, they get wiped out. They've lost their entire $10,000. Now, in the last dump a month ago, when Bitcoin collapsed, 400,000 wallets got closed. 400,000 minnow investors, retail investors who aren't that bright, got wiped out. They lost all of their money. However, there's another more than 400,000 of silly little over leveraged minnows still lying around. In other words, that Bitcoin dump didn't kill all the minnows yet. And so the whales don't want Bitcoin to go up yet because the silly little minnows still have some investments. And so the whales are going to manipulate the market to have one more crash of Bitcoin to get rid of the over leveraged minnows. So what I'm predicting is gold has gone down a lot and it, now it's just uh, moving along and consolidating, but there's another dump and it's imminent. It's probably this half of December, the second half of December. If not, it'll be early January. And when that dump comes, then all the crazy little minnows who are over leveraged are gonna get wiped out. And then the flight to safety can actually happen and billions and billions and tens or hundreds of billions of dollars is gonna flood into Bitcoin and it's gonna move up the entire market, all the market, the whole market. When the tide comes in, all the ships rise. Whatever good altcoins you have is going to rise. And what do I do in cases like that? I have put in orders what's called cheeky orders. I put in low ball orders. Let's say there's a coin that I want and I've got $10,000 to buy it and it's at 14 cents. So what I do is I put in a bid at say 10 cents. Now you might say 14 cents, 10 cents, I don't think you'll get it. Yeah, I probably won't until Bitcoin falls. And when Bitcoin falls, I'll probably get a fill. Now, if I bought it 14 cents and it goes to a dollar, then that's seven X. But if I buy it 10 cents and it goes to a dollar, that's 10 X. That's what I'm looking for. I understand physics. I understand flight to safety. And now you do too. I am the meta man. You are now much wiser than you were just a few minutes ago. Hello, and thank you for listening to that exciting video. Now, click on Meta in order to subscribe so that other people will enjoy it too. And click right here to enjoy my previous video and click right there in to enjoy the video about SAND, my favorite crypto metaverse coin.